Sorry about that, people. I don't know what I'm doing with this thing, and I accidentally killed everybody. Well, I, cl I killed the live. Um, so... Let me see if there's anybody else. Vance? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the wrong uh, video. Um, let me get to mine here again. So I can see who's in here. All right, guys, it's time to rock. Um, yeah, Nadambi missed that. Uh, I told a story of my own about having the uh, police called on me. And I'm lucky I was so young. Well, I wasn't really that young. I was in my 40s, I think. Um, where I had the wherewithal just to keep it moving and not get as upset as I felt inside. Um, I am live again, everybody. I'm so sorry that I accidentally hit the wrong button. This is a new one. Uh. This is a new uh, live. But anyway, the topic was... Um, something that I've taken to calling the um, Becky syndrome of having the um, police um, call on us for just living, <laughs> doing all sorts of things. And I'll wait. I'm, I'm sorry, everybody. I, I hit the wrong button and killed the other live. So I'm now trying to pull in the people who are supposed to be here. Well, I tagged you, so you guys should see it. Um, is there any other... Okay, hold on a minute. I'm getting some kind of a message from somebody down here. Mm. Hey, Tammy. Love you. <laughs> uh, oh, boy, I hate to end this early. Not sure what happened. Everybody was good to go. I think yesterday. But listen, um, yeah, actions need to be taken at your local... Uh, political level in order to uh, in in order to stop this um, because mainstream media doesn't report as much as it happens it doesn't report um, as many times as we're, we're killed in fact I saw a study that said that um, 
they hide why black people get killed by the police. Um, they call it other things. Oh, there you are, man. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, how do I get you in here? Hold on, dude. Uh oh, there's something wrong with your um, camera, man. It said I can't bring you on, King, King Rock. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna try it again. Oh, you just went green. Here we go. Nope, you didn't go green. It, it, you, uh, well, I don't, it won't tell me why I can't bring you in here, King Ra. Um, is Troy here or anybody else here? Has anybody ever had the uh, the police called on them for just existing? <laughs> just living your life, trying the best you can to deal with the levels of oppression heaped on, um, the levels of abuse heaped on us. I mean, we deal with things that it's almost like... Um, I hate to trivialize other people's problems, but you know, I would invite them to do what that one woman did without telling anybody and make yourself black for a year and see what happens to you inside of that year. It would change your whole perspective. Hello, ne I'm sorry, I can't even see your name. It begins with an N though, hello Mitchell. Yeah, for some reason your phone, King Ra, is not that. Hey, Sh hey, Shala, how you doing? I killed. I accidentally killed the other live, so so I had to start all over again. So it's gonna be two of them instead of one. But did you actually see the um, comment? See what this live was about? Has anything of this nature ever happened to you or someone you cared about where the uh, Beckys and police were called? You know, I call them Beckys, whether they're men, women, it doesn't matter. But calling the police on you and putting your uh, life in jeopardy, potentially. Um, all these people, except for the one I want in here, can show up. Jeez. I'm gonna try you again, King. Yep, says I can't I can't. Uh do you have Wi Fi? Are you connected to Wi Fi, King? Because it does require something special. How about Ooh, I'm gonna bring you in here. Guess who? Michelle. If I can find you. App, I can't see you. Would you like to share, Michelle? And, and Ray Ray, too. This thing is not giving me the options I'm looking for. Uh, invite friends to watch. Okay, that's the wrong one. I'm trying to invite people inside. Not, uh, ooh, ooh, don't hit that one like I did last time. Let me see if I can see the comments. I'm going to click on you and see what happens.
I said, oh, I was going to call on you if some of the others didn't show up. Me? Brother Ray. Hey. How's, How's it going? going? I told you I would catch your show. I meant it. I wasn't trying to miss it. Thank you very much, sir. How are you doing tonight? Good. I love what you're talking about. Um, I like what you're doing. You're bringing things out into the community, especially people of color like ourselves. Um, I think a lot of things need to be addressed that people are shying away from, but you're not afraid to talk about it, and I appreciate that. Thank you. I really so what say you? You want to you wanna introduce yourself and go for it? Yes, I'm going to go for it. Um, my name is Ray Aiken. I'm a trans man, 54 years old, proud of it. I have a wonderful family. And um, I see right now with the situation going around the country, uh, we really have to watch ourselves. Um, I went out with my daughter and my twin today. We went out to get a slice of pizza. You know, they wanted to sit down in the front. I said, nah, you got to recognize what today is. Because I don't want to sit myself in a situation where, why are you sitting there? Mm. Why are you standing there? Why are you moving here? Mm -hmm. So we had to be careful of even how we act. And I find myself acting almost robotic because I don't want anybody of the Caucasian persuasion to think that maybe we're a little uppity, maybe angry. And I know I'm very angry um, and I'm disappointed even within our own community. And I'll explain why. We have to start taking care of our own. Yes. We have to take care of our own. Our children and our children's children depend on that. Yes. We have to take care of our own. And we're not doing that. Yeah, not only is stuff coming in from the outside, but within our own community, there's also people going, I don't see anything. I don't hear anything. I ain't saying anything. Exactly. Now what happened, the trailblazers of the 60s and the 70s, and I have to, something very interesting about our queen, Aretha. See, Aretha wasn't just a singer. She also worked for us, and I loved what no. uh, Reverend Sharpton said, okay? She didn't work for you, Donald. She didn't work for you. She may have performed at your venues, but she never worked for you. She worked for us, okay? You listen to all her songs. You, we all an know about it. Yes, yes, and nobody knows that. Everybody just know Aretha, the soul singer. The younger generation need to know more about the trailblazers. I, I have no qualms. What you listen to, you listen to. But all this garbage out here that's poisoning our young people's minds, there's nothing being said about it. Just drugs, sex, alcohol. Black women describe themselves as bitches. Black men describe themselves as Niggas, mm -hmm. what happened to kings, queens, 80s? Uh oh, you just you froze. Back. I'm back. Oh, there you are. Okay. Yes. So I really believe we need to get back oh. there. We need to start taking care of our own before we start talking well, about I problems. And Bob has given us. Yeah. Well, we do need to up. I can't answer the phone. Um, uh, kings and queens, I mean, we need to put away the N-word because it's yeah, dehumanizing man. us. They created it. We use it, but it's also mm -hmm. taking us down um, right. when we use it. And especially in social media, when we say yeah. it, we don't know who else is around is watching, giving them permission to exactly. use that word, which I've seen great yeah. big fights break out on social media yeah. because so, white folks saw us using it and thought it was okay for them to use it. That's right. So That's we right. need to stop using it. We are kings. Yes. We are queens. We yes. are not niggas. We're not. No. 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 Let me tell you something, Brother Ray. Growing up in the 60s, my mom always taught us a nigga is an ignorant person. It's not what color you are. 
and she will call a Caucasian a nigga in a minute. If you're if you're ignorant, you're ignorant, plain and simple. Yeah. You don't see that's what we did. Now think about this, brother Ray. You don't hear the you the Jewish community using the word kike as some kind of form of endearment. They'll never do that. The Mexicans will never call you, yo, what's up, brother? What back there will never do that. No. Nope. We're the only ones that take a derogatory word that was given to us to keep us down, to humanize us, and we use it. Hey, it's a word of love. No. Nope. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't allow nope. anyone to call my grandson's nigga. I don't care who it is. I tell him you're a young man, you're a princess, you come from royalty. Recognize that. Yeah. Recognize that. Stop with this hood lingo. This is my street. Babies are being killed by our own black boys. What's going on? We got to take care of this first, Brother Ray. We got to take care of it first, man. Well, let me ask you, have you ever had the police called on you or somebody close to you having the police called on you just for existing? You know what's so funny? I was at work, actually. And the police came up. Now, I had nothing to do with it. But automatically... I kept my hands visible. I kept my hands visible. I even tell my daughter, listen, you're a young lady. She's much lighter than me, but you're still a woman of color. Yes. You understand what I mean? Yes. It, I still have nightmares about Sandra Bland. You understand what I mean, Brother Ray? It just bothers yes. me. And it's just not brothers and sisters too. It's yes. our babies, 10 years old, being handcuffed by police. Come on, man. Why yeah. people calling? Because I'm s sitting in a park? I mean, really, actually, I was sitting in a park. Police rolled up on me. Let me run your um, ID. I'm like, what? I'm not doing And we have my work uniform on, brother, right? So I'm like, what's going on here? People may not want to admit it, but this administration is dealing with the devil. And people feel that voting is not important. Yes, oh. it is. Yes. Yes, it is. I'm the voting black everybody out. Everybody who has oh, been sitting man. there for five years or more. That's I'm right. Put out. And I grew that's up right. during the 60s. So I'm part yeah. of that trailblazer. So we already uh, know. We already generation. know. Yeah, I already yeah. know. I've been voting since I was 18. And uh, as people as died as for my right to vote. So I'll be damned if I don't take that responsibility on. That's Seriously. Right. Like, I do it you know what time. those idiots that are sitting there, apathetic, yes. And don't give a crap mm. about us. We need to go. Yes. And by voting, we can vote. Because you know what? I realize people forget, Brother Ray, that they work for us. When I yeah, put you do. in office, you work for me. Yeah. You have to do for me. And I'm sick and tired of these politicians and this racist, sh I didn't want to use profanity, stuff that's going on. Speak your mind. Up, you know, trickling down. You're saying it's okay to kill a black person. It's fine to disrespect a black sister. It's so fine to rape this black woman. It's fine. It's cool. Because you know what? When Donald Trump saw all that was going on during his campaign, people being attacked, he said, hey, no worries. I'll pay for your legal fees. So what is that telling the rest of white America? Poisoning that their is mind. Okay. It's bad enough that they hate us already, but it's getting worse. Well, getting and back worse. in slavery, we were three-fourths of a human, if that. Hmm. And that's still going on. That's still on the books somewhere. It is. It that is. We are not is. considered fully human, hmm. which is insane. Everybody that's human is human. But yes. who are they to who are they to say we are less human than another human? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Really? Who's the barbarians? Who's the barbarians in here? When you read about the history, the murders, the rapes, the, the dismemberment, who, who goes to a place like it's a, 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 a concert and see a poor innocent black man being tortured, burned alive, and you're throwing his digits and his burnt body pieces, and you're going in, a, the crowd is in a frenzy, and they're drinking whiskey and eating. Who's, the, who's not fully human? Better think about that one. They better think about it. Well, that. and now they're not doing it that way anymore, but now they're doing it in silence. They're That's doing right. it in trolldom. I'm all yes. over the internet, 
and those trolls are everywhere trying to yes, they are. to say that this isn't happening and it isn't as bad as you're making it out to be and blah 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 blah, blah. and it's like oh you're not human you're, no you're, you're not you got some evil going on if you're trying you're to right. debunk that's the right realities we face every day in America every day say it again brother Ray every day, every day. My normal Every life day, of walking to the store seven. should not be entailed with me being fearful that you're going to call the cops on me and my family because we're sitting in front of the pizza shop. You know what I mean? I shouldn't have to worry about that. But Soon nowadays, at my age right they now, don't. come on, man. And as men of color, trans men of color, yo, we got it worse. We got it worse. As far as they're concerned, we're even invisible, even within the LGBT community. We're invisible. They don't yes. care about us. You yeah. know what I mean? When they need us to fight, come on, I need you to join us to fight for gay rights. But wait a minute. What about us? Mm -hmm. Are you protecting us? What do we no. get after this? No. no. We got to be. But we can, we can raise that consciousness too, which is why yeah. I do these lives. I promoted yeah. this live into every LGBT group and mm -hmm. black group and white group that I knew. Um, yeah. And what's funny about it is that after it happens, people watch yeah. it. But while yeah. it's happening, they're not mm. watching it. Because they're, they're not trying to. to um, I don't know if they're afraid to piss me off. <laughs> well, if they have something stupid to say, then I, you know, I would. I would go after them. Right. But right. if they wanted to right. contribute to the conversation and the divisions, that are going right. on within sub com sub communities, within sub communities, within sub communities. If they right. have anything to contribute to that, I don't have a problem with it. But yeah, no, if they want to come in and 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 ruffle everybody's feathers and try to pull that apathetic shit, then I will put yeah. them in their place. You have to. Everybody knows that. You you don't know me, but man, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get to know you though, brother Ray. I've been reading a lot about your stuff, man. I'm really gonna get to know you. You know what I mean? I'm so following you, and I really respect a lot of things that you say. You're not afraid to say it. Uh, we was talking about that little thing with segregation. Maybe we'll get on that later. I think segregation was the best thing for us, um, that we need to pull money back into our own communities. Um, when we get money, instead of running from the communities, put money back into the community. Later for this regentrification, which is a fancy word of moving the niggas out. So... Yeah. Um, we have to do it. Oh, they've been we doing to, that. They've been doing that for mm -hmm. decades, decades, yeah. and de that gentrification stuff it. that they do. They've mm -hmm. been doing that. I saw that when I was young. Yeah, you know, yeah. back in the seventies and the eighties, they did that in the now, city. You know, I I, yeah, I started in. I started noticing it in the eighties. I noticed it in the eighties, and then when I start seeing. Clear people jogging in a hood three, four in the morning, and nobody's messing with them. I said, "Wait a minute, what's going on here? I don't even jog <laughs> at three, four in the morning." You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, but they already know. Let this nigga, excuse me, brother, but that's how it is. Bother me? They're gonna do twenty to life, okay? Mm -hmm. Compared, if anything happened to you or I, hey, just another nigga on nigga crime. We'll turn this one over later. But I'm gonna tell you, they are very well protected. They're yeah. well protected. We got to protect well, that's what the That's what the, I call them the, uh, well, I, for a while there, I was calling them the Poe KKK something. Um, yeah, man. The police are not on our side. They are there Absolutely to protect not. them, which is why Absolutely they not. will even go on a call where yeah. somebody called us just for being in their space. They are hoping. Yeah to get yes. some, I don't know what, but they're hoping to start some shit. Yeah. Um, now, now come on, what about a, Brother Ray, an eight-year-old child selling water to pay for her own trip to go too. to Disney World. Now, if the child was sitting up there selling drugs, you got some, but this young girl, her mother's teaching her to be self-sufficient, to earn her own money to do something that she wants to do, how are you calling the police on an eight-year-old child? How? They're getting too familiar, brother, right? They're getting too familiar. I think, um, I think re racism is a mental illness. But I'm yeah. also afraid to say that because they will use that to their advantage. 
say something and do something stupid and then yep. say I was mentally ill. Yeah. I've actually seen They're doing that. it now. Yeah, They're doing it now, brother, right? They're killing us and say, oh, well, I was sick. You know, I, I'm, I'm not right in the head. And you can't tell me I, I'm not a racist. I can't be racist against someone that hates me already because of the skin I was born in. That's not, don't yeah. try and give me that. Because it can't happen. That reverse, reverse racism. <laughs> <laughs> That's bull. We already bull. know that. Yeah. I ain't even trying to hear that. We already know. We already That's just know. That's the way to shut us up. That's just the way to try to shut us up. But not, uh, look, we, complaining about their behavior. Yeah. I mean, I noticed even when I walk down the street, it's like, who's going to step into the curb? Did you notice that? I said, wait a minute. I, I noticed it in the South. Oh, they do it here in New York, man. They do it here in New York. Yeah. I could walk down the street and you and they look at me like, nigga, you ain't gonna move in. Oh, no, I'm not moving to the curb. You better step on the curb. Wow. It's in New York. I'm, I kid you not, my man. I kid you not. And I've been here all my life. And those are stories my mom used to tell me. In the South, you had to step on the curb. Well, listen, this is 2018. I ain't stepping on nobody's curb. Better go around. Man. I had to do. I, they wanted me to do that in the seventies. Can't um, do it. When I was in the South for uh, training for military training, wow. and I was like, "What? No, I'm not." <laughs> I would just keep walking, and they would look at me, give me death stares, like, "Yeah, why man. didn't you get up? Why didn't you get off the <laughs> sidewalk and let me pass?" And I'm like, "I'm not from here. I'm not from the South." There you go. I would there you go. Like that. And, I think uh, I think they have it ingrained in them because their great 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 grandparents taught them. So now it's like it's an automatic mind thing with them. It's like automatic with them. See, I'm proud to say my mother was born in 1923. God bless her. My daddy was born in 1918. God bless him. They had me and my twin. Oh, that's okay though. But they were my history books. They taught me because they were there. It's not hearsay. They were there. And I was taught, you got to be careful. And I remember in high school, I'll never forget it, I had a friend, a Caucasian girl. My mama said, that's cool, that's nice, that's all right. But I can tell you she will never invite you to, your, to her home. And she never did. Mm. And she never did. So those were my teachers. So a lot of friends, oh, you're militant, you're this, you're that. No, I'm tired of my people being treated the way they're being treated. I'm tired of us treating us in a bad way. I'm tired of them treating us in a bad way. But you got to clean up home first before you got to start cleaning other places. Because their best thing is, well, you're killing each other, so why the fuck should we care? More of them kill each other than we do. Right. Oh, but they're not going to tell us that, brother, Ray. I already they're know. They're not going to tell us that. They, they know, know not to step to me with that bullshit because I'll throw no. statistics at them. And I mean, Come on, man. We are showing really them that they do. They've killed more of each other than we have killed each other. And but they that all came from them. Every back day. In the day. Back in the day, we had neighborhoods where we did not even need police. No, man. We took care of our own. Yeah. And that's the thing. They couldn't take it. We were successful. There were so many communities where we took care of our own. Put money in our own communities, schools, hospitals, fire, police. We did this for us. And what did they do? They burned it down to the ground. Burned it to they the ground. They destroyed it. Killed everybody. Yeah. Come on. Oklahoma, Heroin came out. Wall Street. Came out. Come on, Black Wall Street. Yo, all of that. But I believe if we really want, we can get that again, man. We can yeah, get we it can. again. We, we can. can. We just got to stop the nonsense. Um, we have to with each other and um i'm gonna tell a little story when you get offline because i made peace with a brother i didn't even know that okay. we got into it um on on this platform and wow because of the respect that i had of the man who made the post i went to him and cleared it right. up we need to stop hating on each other because we have enough hatred coming our way to last 10 months so we gotta, we got uh oh, what is all that? We gotta love one of them. Um, what's up? All right, hey, interference on your, is that some interference on your, yeah? Oh, okay, so, yeah, it has to be, but yeah, we have to start putting, oh, yep, 
interfered your ass right out of the line. Anyway, that I just met him um, yesterday or today. Um, so I'm not trying to run a popularity contest like I see going on all over this platform where somebody gets out there and they start doing lives and trying to get a bunch of followers. I'm trying to uplift men. Black men. I also had a, a, I asked a Caucasian man to be a surprise guest speaker in this live just to show you from their perspective what they see, um, how he feels, how helpless he feels uh, being only one of my allies and one of a few white men who will speak out about this nonsense, but of course he's not getting a lot of cooperation from people around him. So he's very discouraged um, and feeling helpless and hopeless. And I'm like, man, if you think you feel that way, imagine how we feel. So get it together and pull it up. You know who you are. I don't want to hear, next time I call on you to be in this live, I don't want to hear any time excuses or anything like that. Make the time. I'm giving you a platform in which to speak that you've never been able to have. So um, I lost you, Ray Ray, but we'll, we will talk to each other again and I will see you online. Who else is in here? Um, Okay, uh, King Ra, oh, okay, I'm, I am looking, oh, oh, I see you in green, there you are, I sent you an invite, King Ra. I don't even know if I'm saying your name right. Hey, man. Hey. hey. <laughs> I finally got you. <laughs> How's it going? It's going. All right. Would you like to, you can introduce yourself or not introduce yourself or just jump right into the topic. Okay, King Ross St. James. I've had quite a few interactions with the police um, as a licensed social worker, but currently I'm working as a licensed locksmith. So I'm always out and about any time, day or night, accosted by the police while I'm bending down, picking a lock. Just recently, picking the lock, my truck, my vehicle has the company logo with locksmith all over it. My my shirt has the company logo, orange, bright, with the company logo, locksmith all over it. Police pull up. My customer states, this is my home. This is a locksmith who's getting me in. Police show up, guns drawn. Ask me for ID at the same time, tell me, put my hands in the air. I'm forced to the building, and I'm handcuffed. They go through my pockets, pull my ID out, begin to question me while they go through my wallet without my permission. At that point, they see a concealed carry permit, mm -hmm. and then they go to my vehicle to go through my vehicle to search for a gun. That's they see a locksmith, so they know I'm a locksmith. You know, that's illegal if they don't have a uh, warrant. Totally, totally illegal. But I'm working. I'm a part of the community. I don't need any problems. I'm representing my business. So I don't argue. I continue to smile and cooperate. My customer's shaking her head. Can't believe it. And what do the police say to you? Do they ever give you a, an apology? They give me an apology, leave all my stuff laid out on top of the hood of my vehicle, and leave. After they run my name, we just want to make sure that you don't have any warrants. It's not often 
we see an African American who can legally break into things, which was a totally racist comment. No kidding. Do you ever? After this, a few times, I called. I made an appointment to speak with the captain. Went over and introduced myself, and I, I let him know what was going on. I had dates, times, documents of these incidents. And he said he would discuss it. Lately, I've not had a problem. Three nights ago, I had an issue where a guy ran up on, on me as I was bent over into my truck. And he said, it's a robbery. And I immediately grabbed my weapon and I said, no, it's justifiable homicide. And as I pulled my weapon up, he said, no, no, I'm just kidding, buddy. I said, well, that's not a joke. Yeah. You're going to wait for the police. Yeah. Because I could have just shot him. But it's not in me to just harm somebody. Right. Well, it's my goal to make you gotta home at night. Yourself. Right. This is 3.30 in the morning. Yeah. So the police arrive. Again, I'm slammed to the ground. Searched, asked for a permit. They see the permit for the weapon. They confiscate the weapon. Tell me they have to check the weapon. They have to check me. We're both taken to the station. Again, I'm questioned as what occurred. I explain everything. They hold a weapon to check the weapon. I still haven't picked it up. I guess I'll get it back tomorrow or I'll get it back on Tuesday. It's, it's crazy. Um, they know who you are. They Yeah, they know who I am. I wasn't at Connection is bouncing. Oh. It lost you. You must be in a crazy area, um, but it did lose you. That's what I'm talking about, folks. If you are not black and you're watching this, does that ever happen to you? Um, these are the narratives that people want to sweep under the rug like they're not happening. Um, I know there are some gatekeepers of the police department uh, that aren't the police. Was, is it the DA? I don't know, but I would file, start filing complaints if I were you, King, um, because they're harassing you, they know who you are, and they're just doing that to be doing that. You know, you're 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 in an area of the country where I know <laughs> you you're in an area of country where I grew up. They knew who I was in that neighborhood, um, in that entire city. They knew, so you know. But I have been pulled over for driving my father's Mercedes. Um, this was back in the 80s. And had it not been for the, this white woman that was in the car with me, they would have, I don't know what would have happened, but um, there's a joke, and it's on my timeline somewhere, a funny joke of a video where is to borrow a white person to, uh, do this and that because I'm telling you if you're by yourself and you're not and you don't have a white person with you they are free to do whatever the hell they want with no witnesses that's what they're hoping so you know practice self-care try not to be as lone uh, by yourself as much as possible I know it's easy for men to move around the world uh, by themselves but we also have to be hyper vigilant. The fact that, you know, people got issues out there with us being in this space, even though it's ours too. We are American. We're not from another country. Originally, yes, but we are citizens of this one and must be respected just as much. I did not serve my country in the military for people to turn around and treat me like I'm not a citizen and a human being. Um, and that just gripes me. 
because yeah, I serve for your freedom to be an asshole. <laughs> um, yeah, you're right. You're probably right, King Rob. Um, but is there anybody else before I close this out? Well, I don't have to close this out, but the, would anybody else like to? Actually, you know what? Hold on, man, because you, you got bumped. You fell off, and I'm going to bring you back. Yeah, you lost it. <laughs> yeah, I lost it. Yeah. <laughs> you were there, and then you were gone. Boop. Yeah, yeah, it comes and goes. So, be because you're by yourself, there's really, like, nothing, nobody who would hear your complaints, not even the uh, uh, an attorney? You know, it, it, it puts me in a real difficult position right now. I mean, I've put cameras in the vehicles that do record, but it records to a SIM card in the vehicle. When I go out, I try to keep somebody on the phone with me. Um, I just leave my phone open where it's just open so somebody can hear what's going on. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get a body camera with a live stream so that it's always been recorded and somebody can always hear what's going on. Yeah. The fact that I do have the cameras in the vehicles, it, it, it helps to an extent. Yeah, it's for the safety of accidents. But it also helps for a whole lot of other situations. Um, well, you know what? The police are harassing and killing us with body cams on them. Yes, and they are. Nobody cares. They they harassed a seventy year old grandmother and manhandled her and took her to jail for no freaking reason. Didn't give her her insulin that she needed while she was in jail. And they did all of that with a body cam on. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And incriminated themselves with it. Yes, they did. And got away with it, too. They're getting away with killing us every day. Yeah. Every day. This is why I cry. This is why I scream so loud. To wake people up that, you know what, if you're not black, you need to say something about this stuff. If it's us, you know, they don't care. They don't care. You know, I'm not a dark-complected brother, but as light as I am, I don't. it don't matter. I'm mm -hmm. still black, and they're going to harass me every day, and they're going to let me know. You black, and you are a target. Oh, yeah. And has this affected your, um, has this somehow, has this affected your transition too? Um, just recently, as I stated, I, I, I was a licensed social worker and the workplace, the workplace racism was so bad that I quit. This was several months ago. I was locksmithing part-time, but it was so bad that I just quit. One day I woke up and I said, I can't do it anymore, and I quit. So my insurance switched, and a couple weeks ago, I had to find a new doctor. Mm -hmm. And I went to this doctor, made this appointment, and this doctor told me she refused to treat me because I was transgender. She was refusing to treat me, and basically it was nothing I could do about it. And I asked her, well, can you just refill my prescriptions? She was like, I can't do anything for you, and walked away. So, yeah, it has affected me in, in that regard. <laughs> I bet they don't do that to um, white transgender men in the area, if there are not this, see, this is the reason why we need visibility and need to join the uh, political fight, because if we don't get rights, they're just signing our death sentence, Most basically. Um, 
But again, their rights aren't being threatened. It's but some of that is is the fact that we have to come together first. Cause we so busy key key keying and fighting each other and putting each other down that divide and conquer we can't stand. So until we come together, we don't have anything. Well, we're divide and conquer. We're in that mode too. I mean, we were taught that when we were colonized. And so it's perpetuating itself inside of our community. Yeah. Yes. Black, trans, doesn't matter, cisgender, that same behavior is being copied and implemented in our own backyard. That's right. Well, that's that preconceived, we were conditioned. Yeah. Got to uncondition ourselves real quick and get our heads out of our asses. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I have a potty mouth. I have to, I try to tone it down a little bit on these lives, but um, I'm a character. <laughs> I will say anything. Well, I appreciate you, you know, what you just opened some people's eyes over there in the comments. Um, I've got my computer screen up in the live, in the background. And see, people need to know this stuff. They need to know what's really going on. And that we're lucky to have smiles on our faces every day. Oh, yeah. Oh, Considering yeah. what we go through, extra that other people don't. And everybody who has not went and got a firearm and has not went and received their concealed carry, please do so now because if you don't, they're going to take the right away from you. They are trying hard. Please go and buy yourself a firearm. Get your concealed carry now. Um. Do you have you actually seen that they're making an attempt to take that away in writing? They're trying. Some states you you can't conceal carry. Yeah. And what Florida they do is they make it where you just conceal carry and it's legal in every state. Right. In my state is legal in this state, this state, and that state, but it might be legal in Wisconsin, but it's not legal in Illinois. Correct. I mean, so, man, and if people you go across state lines, all of a sudden you're illegal, illegally exactly. carry. Well, here's oh, yeah. one more thing to be blowing up the politicians' ears about, and if they ain't doing shit about it, get rid of them, vote them exactly. out in November. Have, if they're just sitting there. We not have to protecting. vote, right? Yep. We have to protect ourselves and it starts, whether you like politics or not, if you don't get involved in that level, you don't have any right to complain about anything. That's right. As far, as far as I'm concerned, um, we have to get, we have to do a scrub, a clean scrub of our government. <laughs> yes, yes. And they're, up, they're the ones that are up to no good. It ain't us, but they're making society think it's us when it's them. Right. So I'm like, hmm, well, this is okay. Well, I'm voting everybody out. And every time I interact with some bozo that sends me a canned answer back from my local government, oh, uh, I blow them up and I tell them I can't wait to vote your ass out in November. All right. That's red <laughs> I do. I, 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 I send that to them in the email. Sure do. But um, thank you for sharing your story, Kimra. I was not aware of what you go through. That yeah, is on messed up. Ongoing. Hey, when you live in Lily White America, this is what you go through. But for my business, this is where the dollars are. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. Well, you you, you <laughs> keep it tight out there. And... Um, I hope at some point you can get out of that area because you may be able to make more money elsewhere doing what you do. City, I'd be a little leery about taking a call at three or four in the morning 
or going to open something because you don't know what you're opening and who it belongs to. So it's got its perks and it's got its drawbacks. I'd rather fight police than some unknown individual. Mm. I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's got its drawbacks. Mm. Yeah, I hear you. Well, I want you to be safe. You know, I want you to stick around. If anything happens to you, don't make me have to go all the way up to hell up there and hurt somebody. <laughs> <laughs> You're too far away. Yeah, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to take a vacation and go somewhere. I need to come hang out and connect with some of y'all. So in about three or four weeks, I'm going to just get on the plane and go. I want to open a map and throw a dart and just come go. Well, no, come on down here, man. Maybe you can go down to some of the uh, meetings are happening where I hang out with a bunch of trans men in several different meetings. So I'm um, a little I think it's the last weekend of this month that I took some time. I took that weekend off, and I think I'm going to break out. Um, I'm going to talk to you and figure it out, and I might come on down. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll be looking. I'll, be, I'll keep in touch with you. <laughs> All right. I'm a character in public, though. Fair warning. Hey, I'm ready for that. <laughs> I'm outrageous, actually, and I just do and say just about anything. But you'll see. It's I have I'm a lot of fun to be around. So I appreciate you coming on and sharing yourself with us, and um, and you be well. Not a problem. Anytime. All right. All man. right. Good night. Good night. Um. Uh. Uh oh. You're still there. I'm not sure how to. Okay. Um, okay, what, there, I have time for um, another person who would like to share. Who is that? Tim, Tim, Tamara. Oh, no, that's my. All right, man. Um. So I guess my the last two guys that I ask, I you I ask more gentlemen in these lives than I need because oftentimes life happens, you know, and stuff happens and I don't know what happened to them. Um and so I make sure to have at least about five or six guys that I'm caught pulling in here because, you know, one of them may get waylaid. But I just wanted to give everybody a um I don't know, a glimpse into a life that they may or may not live uh, to see how the, I, I don't want to say other side, but it is the other side, how the recipients of this abuse of police power feels. And for all I know, it may touch somebody out there who's got some kind of pull and power um, with their local government, with the government period, um, that this ain't no joke anymore and it needs to stop. Um, we're human. We're human beings. Yeah, we're melanated. But since when is that a crime? They have made it a crime here in the United States for the last 400 years to be black, to be melanated, to be African American, whatever you want to call yourself. I prefer black. Um, I'm getting acclimated also to calling ourselves Moors um, and African. But citizen-wise, I'm an American and I'm a veteran and, and I'm a trans man. So I've got a lot of stuff going on where um, it's doubly important to me that we attain some sense of decency towards one another so that we could uplift the nation, so that we could educate the nation, so that we can be empower the nation to that is no different than uh, the LGB had to do back in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. It's the same struggle, folks. We just got to intensify our part in uplifting the community um, and telling them who we are. So with that, I'm going to sign off.
and I hope everybody has a blessed rest of their holiday weekend. Ray Gibson is out.